Hi there guys and welcome back to a brand new video here on the channel. My name is James and today we're going to go ahead and sit down and talk to you guys about the latest news in regards to Reading Football Club. Now today's news is in regards to the potential takeover that Reading were set to announce really within the next couple of weeks. Now back in March Reading announced that exclusivity with a consortium was taking place and that Reading were now going to be discussing a potential sale price for the club with an unnamed consortium. Da Young even penned a letter of intent and obviously this means that there was a group that was set to buy Reading Football Club or at least be in talks to buy Reading Football Club. Well it looks like it's hit a little bit of a rough patch and a little bit of a rocky road. Uh, so we'll go ahead and talk about the article that Tim Dell has penned here on BBC Sport and then we'll go ahead and discuss our views on it. It says that Reading's owners will decide in the next day whether to sell the club to an unnamed potential buyer or consider bids from other interested parties. The Royals entered a period of exclusivity in March with a yet-to-be-revealed party after owner Dai Young committed to a letter of intent. The agreed term lapsed on Tuesday and the next 24 hours should reveal if Reading will proceed with the sale to the group that had exclusivity or look elsewhere. In the latter eventuality, however, BBC Radio Berkshire understands there are others expressing an interest in buying the club. A source at the club said other interested parties had piled in, but that Reading were unable to speak to them while the exclusivity agreement was in place. BBC Radio Berkshire understands one of the stalling points with the group that has held exclusivity is the price of the purchase. The source says Young is growing frustrated at the interested party chipping away at the price that has been set for the sale of the Select Car Leasing Stadium and its Bearwood Training Centre. The original bidder has not undergone the EFL's owners and directors test yet as it is a consortium and is undecided who is the intended and named owner would be. Former Reading Chief Executive Officer Nigel Howe is in charge of brokering the sale of the club and is working alongside Young who is looking to sell his shares. Young and Howe are insistent events must progress within the next seven days or they will look to pursue the sale of the club with another of the interested parties. And then obviously it goes on to say the Royals finished in League One safe in 17th despite Ruben Sellis' side having a six-point deduction for financial breaches. Now listen to me, this is one of the worst case scenarios Reading could have had. To me, it almost feels like you get out of the frying pan and go straight into the fire with this cheer on sports group. If they're genuinely interested in buying Reading Football Club, surely someone would have already come forward in terms of the fit and proper test. Surely they would have already agreed a price as well with Dai Young to buy the football club and not keep chipping away and trying to get it cheaper and cheaper. Now the thing that concern is a bit concerning to me is obviously this group have lent Dai Young money as well. So is this now grounds for them to put Reading into administration? It's really something that's a little bit worrying if I'm being completely honest. Now, I'm not going to sit here and claim to be an expert and claim to know absolutely everything. Obviously, I come on here, I give my view, and then I kind of just give the news as well a little bit, as well as a bit of my view. But if I'm honest, it is a little bit concerning. Obviously, this has been something that we've been waiting for months now, just for some sort of little bit of teaser that the exclusivity is close to ending and that Reading are going to have these brand new owners. And, you know, it's a little bit worrying that now we're sitting here going, OK, within the next 24 hours, we're going to know if they're going to be the new owners or not, because they should have already agreed on a price. If they've been talking to Dai Young for a couple of months, they've been able to lend money out to Dai Young. Surely they would have agreed on a price already, but they keep chipping away at that price and they want to lower it now because they've lent money and, you know... It's really, really frustrating and it's really, really worrying as well because this doesn't put them in a great light. Now, if they do go on to become Reading's owners, they're not going to have the greatest of starts with Reading fans, right? Because they've been chipping away at this prize, wanting to get it a little bit cheaper. We obviously know on their website, their uh, motto is one of their things was that they uh, buy low and sell high. They're trying to just get it lower and lower and lower. And it is a little bit worrying, to say the least. Now, I'm not going to sit here and obviously say that oh, this deal's obviously now not going to go through and stuff like this. But look, it's something that really does have cause to be concerned. Now, I'm not going to sit here and blame Dai Young too much on this one. Obviously, it is his fault when things do go wrong at this football club. It's normally down to Dai Young. And I feel like this is partially a little bit down to Dai Young. He's borrowed money from this group. But they're also kind of being a bit cheeky as well with it at the same time now what's going to happen i'm not really sure if i'm completely honest we obviously don't know anything but it really is cause to be concerned if i'm being completely honest that's just my personal opinion but 
yeah, we're just going to have to wait and see and see what happens. Listen, I'm not going to sit here and claim to be an expert, but for me, it's a little bit worrying. And yeah, uh, they say no news is good news, but this here is not good news as it is new news and it's not good news at all. Now, look, where do we go from here? Again, not sure, but I'm sure we will be back again talking tomorrow if uh, exclusivity is denounced tomorrow. Now that's going to be it for this video today guys, not really too much other news has come out. Reading have confirmed they're going to play Watford in a behind closed doors friendly. Is there going to be a football club then? Yes, there will be a football club. But whether there will be a football club come the end of next season if Dai Young is still here, that's something I'm not sure about. That is the concerning part of things. If Dai Young is still here, Ruben Sellis is going to go. We're going to see key assets like Femi Aziz probably be sold off, Tyler Binden, Lewis Wing. I don't think a lot of players will want to stay and play for this football club if Dai Young is still the owner come the start of July, come the start of next season. It's going to be a real massive concern. And that's the thing that scares me the most is that, look, we won't have a football club to support. Just a couple of months ago, we asked, that was the possibility that we were talking about. We come to present day, we, we're a bit more positive. We're all looking to be a bit more happier. But yeah, this has thrown another spanner in the works. That's going to be it for this one today, guys. Thank you very much for watching. I've been James, and we'll see you all again very soon. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.